Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Finding the value of x. From here, we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 2. And from here, let's write 8 to base of 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3. Then raised to power x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 2. From here, 2 to the power of 3, same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And here, from the law of indices, we have a raised to power m, then raised to power n. Since this power multiply, we can equally change it and bring n inside. We have a raised to power m, then this is raised to power m. So we can write this expression now that we and bring 3 out, then take x inside. So this will be 2 to the power of x, then to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals to 2. Then from here we have 2 to the power of x common here. Then we can use a letter. So let y be equals to 2 to the power of x. Then in the next step, we replace 2 to the power of x with y. So this will become y to the power of 3 plus y equals to 2. Then take 2 to this side. And this side becomes 0. So we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 2 then equals to 0. And from here, we can separate minus 2 as minus 1 minus 1. So we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. Then we write this again as y to the power of 3 minus 1 then plus y minus 1 equals to 0. We rearrange like that. Then 1 can also be written as 1 to the power of 3. Then from this identity, that is, difference of 2 cube, we have A cube minus B cube. This will give us A minus B. Then multiply by A square plus AB plus B square. So when we apply this here for y square minus 1 square so that can be written as y minus 1 then into bracket y square then plus y times 1 that's still y then plus 1 square that's still 1 then we close the bracket we have written this now that way then plus we have y minus 1 which is equal to 0. So we can put this as well in bracket. Then factor what is common out here. Y minus 1 is common. So we bring it out. We have Y minus 1 out. Then into bracket. What is left here is Y square plus Y plus 1. Then plus 1 left here after we've taken it out. Then equals to 0. Then we can equally write it as Y minus 1 then when we add 1 plus 1 that's 2 so we have y square plus y plus 2 equals to 0 so here we have two possible cases we have y minus 1 equals to 0 or we have y square plus y plus 2 equals to 0 and from here y is equals to 1 and uh, we represented y as 2 to the power of x. Then we have y equals to 2 to the power of x. So we bring it down here. And 2 to the power x now is equals to 1. Then also we can write 1 to base 2. That is 2 raised to the power 0. We give us 1. 
So we have 2 raised to the power x equals to 2 raised to the power 0. The base are equal here. Then we can say from here that x is equals to 0. So we get x equals to 0 from here. Then on this side, let's check if we are going to have a resolution here using the discriminant b square minus 4ac and see if we are going to have a resolution here. Here, b is 1, so we have 1 square minus 4, a is 1 as well, then c here is 2, then 1 square is 1, then 4 times 2, that's minus 8. Of course, this is minus 7, which is less than 0. So we have no resolution here. No resolution here. Then the solution to this problem is x equals to 0. Also, we can check to confirm if that is correct from what we are given. We have 8 to the power of x. Then plus 2 to the power of x equals to 2. Then when we substitute x equals to 0 from here, that will give us 8 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 is this equals to 2. Of course, any number is to the power 0 is 1. So we have 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. And 1 plus 1 is 2, which is equals to 2. And we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we can conclude from here that x is equals to 0 is a solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you next class. And bye for now.